Howdy folks, Max Mogan here, Jackson Hole Skywatch. It is 12.31 p.m. on October 18th, 2013. Uh, if you can see the sky behind me, we have had a beautiful blue morning today. Last couple of days, that high, nasty cirrus haze, a lot of planes leaving lingering, spreading trails. And so far today, we've had just this deep, blue, beautiful sky. If you look up above me, you can see that deep, dark, beautiful sky. Now, unfortunately, uh, I see some planes leaving these lingering trails and we appear to have that high cirrus haze forming again. So I'm setting up a little time, uh, a little time lapse sky watch. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright, so here we go. Notice those trails off in the distance. Now that plane just flying through right now leaving a normal contrail dissipating quickly. Here comes another plane. That one's going to fly through and it's going to leave us two little spurts. Okay, it's leaving a normal contrail now. But here it's laying down spurt one, then it has a gap, and now here comes spurt two. As that uh, cloud gets closer, we're going to see it. Just keep your eyes peeled. Look off in the distance, you can see it. Uh, unfortunately, my camera started acting up pretty quick here. But here we go, onward. Uh, hey folks, it's now uh, 1.20 p.m. on Friday, October 18th. And sure enough, that beautiful blue sky we had has been replaced with this disgusting geoengineered sky. Um, you know, over the last hour, I've seen several planes go by. There's a real obvious one, leaving just these little, these little trails here and there with no real rhyme or reason. We had none of these this morning, and now they're showing up all over the place. Uh, you know, these planes are flying at 30,000 feet. The atmospheric conditions are not changing that much over such a short period of time that all of a sudden they're just going to start appearing magically and certainly not with abrupt starts and stops like that one we see uh, headed towards Mount Glory just saw that one getting laid down my other camera's acting up so I'm going to uh, start using this one now and keep the sky watch going, keep the time lapse going stick with us okay so there we see those other those ones that were off in the distance notice uh, the abrupt start and stop to most of those how they fan out and form large cirrus clouds. You can see that one center frame really starting to spread now. Uh, NASA tells us that has a greenhouse warming impact. Oh, that's smoke from the fireplace, the close stuff. And here we are. This is a little later. This is probably about 2.30. Um, notice that one, real obvious. You can see that trail in the left of the frame. You can see it spreading. Now we see another plane flying through. Uh, he left a couple little spurts and no real contrail to speak of. Hopefully you can see those ones spreading out. And look at the cirrus forming off of that one as it goes below the sun. Yeah, so there we have it, folks. 3 p.m. now, Friday, October 18th. Max Mogan, Jackson Hole Skywatch. Just hideous what the sky has become in a matter of two and a half hours. Most blatant right over there, looking over the Grove on some heavy geoengineering. Uh, hopefully more of the environmentalists in Jackson Hole will realize that there's more to the story on climate change than just CO2. See for yourself, look up. Peace.